We not only have a journey before us, but we've had a journey behind us. And today, many of us become the product of our past. But I want you to know something. The blood of Jesus is powerful enough. And the grace of God has enough power and authority in that to set us free from the past. We don't have to be today a a product of where we come from. Hallelujah. We may not have known love. We may not have grew up in a warm and loving environment, but we can break that cycle because that's what the blood of Jesus has done for us. As long as we use our past for an excuse, we'll never grow up into the stature of the perfect man. We must come to a place where we recognize that we are not that old man. Hallelujah. Behold, all things have become new. The old man is dead, and therefore everything that made him warped him, deformed him. All of that is behind us. The grace of God and the blood of Jesus has given us a new birth. We're no longer just born of planet Earth, but we're born again, which means born from above. And we don't have to continue to to hobble around with crippled feet because we were dropped. There comes a place where we stick our broken feet under the master's table like Mephibosheth did, and we are now children of the king. We were singing that song over and over again this morning. I'm no longer a slave to fear, but I'm a child of God. I pray that is our testimony. I pray that you have won the battle over fear. If you are still living a fearful life, you'll never be able to break forth into what he's called you to. But there's only one answer for that kind of fear, and that's God's perfect love. Perfect love does what to fear? It casts it out. It drives it away. So when we recognize and embrace the mature love of God for us, It causes fear to settle down and move out. It causes anxiety to leave us. The Bible said he wanted to give us a high priest who could be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. So Jesus was God, but he became man in the flesh so that he could understand what it means to live an earthly life as a man who was full of God. And so when we look back at the characters of the Bible, the prophets of old, because as these great men of the Bible overcame their complexes to be used of God in a mighty way, Brother Branham did as well. And you and I will be able to overcome our complexes, our temper breeding temper. We'll overcome our anxiety and our fear and our hangups. We'll get above our warts, our crooked noses, and whatever else may be wrong with us, and we'll be caught up into that atmosphere of love where love breeds love. 